Good day. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. Uh, today we're doing something different. Uh, right now it is the morning session and it is 11.50 a.m. Uh, normally we do this um, at the end of the day, but today I want to do it differently, uh, middle of the day. And uh, we were live on the other channel. And uh, you can see how the trades are going today. Uh, the NASDAQ we have crossed 8,500 on the CL. Uh, we crossed 11,000. And uh, you can see from the Ninja Trader, uh, the CL 11,000, 10,000, the NASDAQ 9,000, 8,000, CL. NASDAQ, NASDAQ, ES, 1,800, 1,500, 1,500. So uh, the market is, is extremely good today. And uh, on the other channel, we covered those two charts and we guided the traders uh, for the CL and the NASDAQ. Uh, this chart, we closed it uh, on the other channel today, and uh, we hit our target on 7,400 uh, with uh, the NASDAQ. But we have one open on the NASDAQ. It is 9,120 at this moment. And um, this is a really amazing day today. And uh, we estimated where we wanted the CL to be, and it is 4,100. But of course, there is uh, uh, another CL is 7,000 at this moment, 7,700. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the best performance was today on the CL, it was uh, the four minutes chart uh, got 12,280, which we indicate that on the other channel uh, that where is going to be the target for today. Uh, on the market analyzer, there is uh, five different automated trades on the market analyzer and based on one contract, but uh, you can use two contracts, three contracts. You can use a micro account. As an example, uh, this is an ES because the NASDAQ is finished for today. Uh, this one here, we have 800 is based on the signal from the market analyzer. The, mi the market analyzer have five different automated trade. Uh, and uh, and uh, it's based on the signal pullback re-entry uh, from the FIB lines, uh, all in uh, um, one package uh, based on uh, five different automated trade. If we look on the ES, uh, it is 750 because there are two contracts and right here is 487. The market analyzer is based on one minute. I'm using two minutes. You know, you can use any time frame you want, but I'm using two minutes on the ES uh, to clean some of the noises. And as we see, um, and this market analyzer actually uh, with the auto trades, they are a little bit different where if you want to, you can extend the target and stay there or uh, if you want the trading stop, the trading stops based on fib line. Uh, you can uh, you can put them wherever you want, and then when the fibs comes in, the floating fibs come into those levels. What it does, it readjusts itself. You know, this is really something. Also, no matter where you put the target, if the if you let's say you put the target somewhere above the auto trade target and if the the market is trending the auto trade automatically increase the target and this is very special if the market is trending uh, the auto trade will extend 
the target, which is very clever, the way we it was done. Uh, also, uh, uh, today actually we have one of the new clients uh, that um, is using um, uh, the M strategy, and um, I don't have him right here now. Um, he's using it on a, a different time frames and all of them they were winners and the M strategy is trading which I strongly recommended to the people having a problem in the market what it does this one here based on one contract and and it's a very forgiven um, auto trade um, and if you make a mistake, it can build you out of it, the auto trade. And this one here is based on uh, between fib lines. Let me give you an example also, which is strongly recommended for uh, new beginners. And um, also, I mean, we have 20 different auto trade in your package, but we cannot use 20 auto trade in the same time. So we we show some of it, and this is a total different auto trade based on a pullback re-entry and all the scalping, and you can use it on any given time frame, based on one contract, two contract. Uh, micro account, whatever you want, any instruments you want, the number of contracts you want, you can do that. And it is really, you can use a smaller time frame uh, or you want to use a higher time frame, you can do that. And those are from range to minutes to seconds, you can use uh, this auto trade uh, on uh, any given uh, market which depends what you are looking for uh, the rest the majority of the other chart has already uh, okay maybe I'll show something else uh, this is, is belong to the same auto trade as this one here is belong to the same auto trade as this one here i have a big variety of entries and filters so you don't have to be with one uh, type of an entry because sometimes an instrument does not work on that entry it might work on a different entry and this auto trade uh, have different entries uh, and filters where you can adjust, adjust it uh, the way you want it to be adjusted. So most of the charts are finished for today. Uh, and uh, some of them uh, that were finished within 15 minutes in the market. And uh, of course, when the market is trending like this, it's very easy what you can do when the, the auto trade finished immediately. What we can do, we can say reload and reactivate the auto trade one more time. And uh, uh, now it is reactivated and now this number will disappear. And then uh, and uh, start if, and now disappeared and now start calculating again from zero. Um, this is also, I want to show some of the closed trade today. Uh, this is a CL, uh, 5,050. Uh, I mean, there is, there is, the market is extremely uh, good. We don't have any problem. Uh, there is no sideway market. Everything is fine. And uh, the market is trending beautifully. So 
uh, we thank you for today and uh, we will uh, we will see you on the other channel uh, tomorrow uh, uh, 10 o'clock Eastern time thank you very much and now it's 12 o'clock and uh, we practically finished uh, for today there is no use to sit the rest of the day uh, behind the screen and uh, we're done and uh, everything is done everything so close everything and finish thank you very much and i will see you tomorrow on the other channel live uh, at 10 o'clock eastern time bye for now